Hi, I'm Babe Cross. In this Photoshop video, I want to show you one of the biggest advantages of using adjustment layers. When you want to make an adjustment to a photo, such as altering the color slightly, you always have a couple of choices. You could go under the image menu to the adjustments under there, but those are very permanent and don't offer the same kind of advantage as an adjustment layer. One of the big advantages of adjustment layers you'll see is you don't actually click OK to apply it. It's almost like it stays in preview. So this gives me a great advantage because as the example I'm going to show you, I can deliberately overdo something to make it easier to see what I'm doing. Even though I might want to end up with a subtle change, it's easier to start off by overdoing it. You can only do that with an adjustment layer. So in this example, let's say I want to just make a subtle change to the color of red. I don't want to make a dramatic change that changes to a completely different color. I just want a slightly different shade of red. Now, what I would normally do is make an adjustment and then mask it. Well, it's going to be hard to see what I'm doing if I'm trying to change from this color of red to a very slightly different color of red. So I'm going to start off by adding the adjustment layer and let's do hue saturation. Now as an example, if I just shifted the color very slightly and then tried to paint on my mask, it would be really hard because there's such a subtle difference in that shade of red. So instead, what I do is this. I change it to some very different color, something that's even completely different like green as an example. Then on the layer mask, I start off by inverting it. Press Command or Control I to invert it. Another advantage of adjustment layers, by the way, is that it always has a layer mask with built in. So that means you can apply that adjustment selectively by painting on the mask. So in this case, I only want a portion of the photo, a small portion to change. So that way it's easier to invert the mask and fill the whole thing with black. And I'm going to paint with white in the areas where I want the adjustment to show. So I tap the letter B for my paintbrush. I want a slightly bigger brush. I'm going to use the bracket key to make it a little bigger. And I have white as my foreground color. Now wherever I paint with white, I'll be revealing the effects of the adjustment, which as you remember, currently is set to green. So I'll do this really quickly for this quick demonstration. But of course, you could be much more accurate and zoom in much more closely and make sure you were getting it perfectly accurately. But the real point I'm trying to make here is you can see how much easier it is for me to mask because I'm seeing green as compared to red. If I had just made that subtle change of color, it would be much harder for me to see what I was doing. So let's just go in here and make very quickly. And for the purpose of our demonstration, we're going to say that that looks pretty good. Now, if I go back to the adjustment layer, I didn't mention this at the time, but when I changed this to this weird shade of green, there was no OK button. So it wasn't like I was actually applying it. I was just leaving it there. So now I can put it back to square one. So now I have an adjustment layer with a mask ready to go. And now any slight adjustment. So let's just say I, so for example, if I lighten this color slightly, if I turn the adjustment layer on and off, you can see it's such a subtle change. Again, that would be really challenging to mask if I was just trying to compare between two shades of red. So one of the things that I suggest is if you make your life easier by overdoing it as I did in this example with green, then we can go back to the adjustment layer and make a subtle shift in color to get it to look the way we want. So when you compare the original to now, it's very subtle, but it was again easier to do because of an adjustment layer. So personally, I use adjustment layers as much as I can for these couple of reasons. The fact that it is adjustable, you don't click OK, you can apply an adjustment, leave it that way. As long as your document is saved as a PSD file, you when you come back the next time, even months later, you'll still see that adjustment. Also, the fact that it has a layer mask attached to it automatically, which means I can do selective adjustments very easily. The third and very important reason why adjustment layers are so important to me is they take away the linear nat nature of Photoshop. So for example, normally if I opened a photograph, applied hue saturation from the image menu, clicked OK, went on and did two other things, I had, would have no way of going back to readjust that hue saturation adjustment layer because it was a permanent step. Whereas if I do it through an adjustment layer, I can add adjustment layer, adjust it, do two or three other steps, and then still come back to the adjustment layer and make further adjustments to those settings. So all in all, 
adjustable errors are the way to go if you want the most flexible and accurate way to work in Photoshop. Be sure to look for my next quick tutorial on Photoshop coming very soon. See you next time.